There is a shadow over the growing optimism about beating the pandemic. Scientists and labs are racing to sequence new variants of the coronavirus. For 60 minutes this Sunday, chief medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook spoke with a leading scientist about what they're learning. What wasn't predictable, for me anyway, was that there would be so many copies of this virus that even a slow evolutionary process could, in just a matter of a few months, uh, produce some viruses that we're worried about. And Dr. John LaPook joins us now to talk a little bit more about this. Doctor, what is so concerning about these variants? Hi, Christine. Well, you know, they're variants of concern. They're not variants of panic, but they are of concern. And the reason is that when you have these mutations and one or more mutations team up, they can actually change the behavior of the virus. They can make it more transmissible, more deadly, or more resistant to our own immune system, whether it's from a vaccine that we've gotten or a previous infection with the virus. Oh, doctor, when it comes to the variants and the current vaccines that we're looking at, everyone's excited to get these vaccines. What's the relationship between the two at this point? Maurice, I'll give you the punchline. Get the vaccine, get the vaccine, get the vaccine. Because right now it looks like there's a window of opportunity. So we don't know everything, but it looks like at the lab, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine still work well against the UK variant in South Africa, the J&J, &J, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, even though it maybe have a little bit of a less robust immune response in terms of uh, the antibody response or in terms of protecting against infection. Uh, it's excellent, very excellent at preventing the, what we care about, which is serious serious disease, hospitalization, and death. So uh, we could have a window of opportunity right now where if we get everybody vaccinated, it will really make a difference. And we also have to do all the mitigation things, you know, the wearing the mask. I know everybody's sick and tired of hearing about that. I know I am sick and tired of saying it, but we can't be because the way we stop this virus from mutating is to stop the spread. If it can't spread, it can't mutate. If it can't mutate, we can't get the variants of concern. So do all the things we're talking about and understand that these viruses you know, we're, we're fed up with it. It's not fed up with us yet, Maurice. Boy. All right. That's our only hope here, Dr. LaPook. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. And you can see Dr. John LaPook's full report on 60 Minutes, Sunday night, 7 p.m., right here on CBS2.